Hi campers, welcome to your second journalism lesson. Again, thank you for joining the journalism staff for the Life Camp Times. I'm really excited to have you guys on board. So the first lesson we really just talked about what a breaking news story is and the five W's. Um, the five W's are very important to include in the beginning of your news report. Because remember, when you are getting a news report, uh, or giving a news report rather, your reader wants to know the information, the most important information, right away. Picture them reading the paper while they're drinking up a, uh, a cup of coffee in the morning, and they don't really have a lot of time because they have to get to work. So they want to read the first few sentences of each news report and know exactly what's happening in the world. That's our goal. But you also want to find good stories to report in general. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about finding moments to create into newscasts. I know a lot of you think maybe that's hard to do because you're at home and there's a lot of things closed. Be, be surprised to find there's a lot of hidden news stories just kind of out in your most immediate environment. In other words, the environment you're close to. So our goal is that journalists, jur sorry, <laughs> journalists notice potential news stories all around them, no matter where they are, whether it's a place they've been a million times or one time. You have to stay alert to anything that's just slightly out of the ordinary. Um, you're looking for moments where maybe people's emotions are a little tense or heightened or out of the ordinary. You're looking for things that stick out, but very slightly. So I think I used this example last week. You might be in a food store and notice, though it's normally very clean, there happens to be a lot of garbage on the floor that's getting ignored. You could turn that into a news story about uh, people starting to shirk off or um, not, not live by their responsibilities as the quarantine started. Or maybe a report about people using less staff at their stores since the quarantine, which is leading the stores to get dirty. So it can really be just a very small detail you're noticing in an overall large normal environment. So the whole goal is to stay alert. So how can we do this? Like, how can we look for these out of the ordinary stories? We need to put ourselves in different environments. So though there's not as many to pick from since we're in quarantine, there's enough that you can find different news stories. You want to plan and join your parents for their shopping trips or your grandparents when they go to the park. Um, your brother or sister when they're maybe walking to a friend's house to deliver a letter or something. Any outing outside of your home is a different environment and therefore gives you the potential to find a new story. Always have your notebook ready. That's the most important thing. As soon as you're leaving the house to walk the dog, to go to the store, to visit grandma and grandpa, you need a notebook with you. Some places you might go, stores, the park, the pharmacy even, your grandparents' house, the pool if it's open, anything that's open currently. And make sure you wear a mask too. So I made an example of observations that I found when I went to shop right last week. Um, this is how your notes can look. So you want to make sure you're recording the day, the time, the place to get the when and the where. And while you're walking around shop, right, like this is what I was doing. So I wrote down the, the date, the time, and the place. And while I was walking around shop, right, I just looked for anything that was slightly weird, slightly different, slightly interesting to me. Maybe if like people looked a little nervous or scared for some reason, those were the tiny details I was looking for. And here's some of the notes I found. I noticed that it really wasn't that busy for a Friday afternoon. Usually when I go to shop right on a Friday, it's after school and it's crazy. But this time, it really wasn't that crazy. I also noticed that everyone was wearing masks still, but now people are starting to look at each other more. Did you notice when you're in quarantine and you'd go to a store or on a walk and people kind of wouldn't look at each other because they're afraid they just give the virus by looking at each other? I kind of noticed that. So when I was at ShopRite, it was kind of nice to see that pa people were actually like looking at each other. I noticed that cashiers were starting to get lazy about scrubbing down the counters. 
So that was something I wanted to be alert to because we're supposed to be really careful right now. Um, two other things I noticed. Um, I noticed a little kid freaking out when his mom wheeled right past the sugary cereal aisle. He was having a complete tantrum and she was trying to play it cool. Heightened emotions, right? So I wrote it down. And I also noticed there's a lot of sanitizer and toilet paper and paper towels again. So these are just some of the really small details, like the sanitizer thing. That doesn't seem like a big story. Oh, they have sanitizer. But I wrote it down as an observation because it is out of the ordinary. There really hasn't been a lot of sanitizer lately or paper towels. So now that there are, that could be a potential news story that stores are starting to stock up again. Okay, so once you go on your trip to ShopRite, you go to grandma and grandpa's house, you go to the park, and you've taken notes that look like these, you need to remember to um, write things down that you over, oh, sorry, you're going to take good notes while the events are happening. So while you're watching the little kid have a tantrum, you're constantly recording notes. What is he saying? What is mom saying? What does the aisle look like? You want to make sure you get the five W's for every observation. So who's throwing the tantrum? Why are they throwing the tantrum? Where are they throwing the tantrum? All the five W's for every potential news story. Um, again, if you can overhear some things, quotes are great to have in a news report. And lastly, don't be picky about like if you wrote something down, you're like, eh, this doesn't seem like a good news story. Don't be picky. Write down anything you see that comes to mind, and you can always go back and pick and choose what sounds interesting. But never stop in the middle of taking notes, because they might end up leading you to a really good story. When you get back from your trip, so this is kind of your last step. I'm going to get rid of my face here so you guys can see the full list. When you return from your trip to wherever you went, you're going to look over your notes and decide what seems to be like out of these the most interesting? What could lead to a news story, something to report and inform my audience on? Um, so maybe if I was looking at mine, oops, it's not letting me, here we go. Maybe I'm looking at mine and I decide the toilet paper, paper towels restocking thing is what I want to report on because it's really big. It's really new. Like it's something that hasn't happened recently. So I might decide that's what I want to report on. Um, if you're unsure, maybe you want to look at each option that you have and question it. So, for example, I might question, hmm, so cashiers aren't cleaning in between every customer. This is leading me to wonder. Are employees starting to give up on protecting from COVID? So right there, by questioning one of my bullet points, I ended up coming up with a potential news story. Once you look through all of your different notes, Highlight your top two to three story ideas. So maybe I decide I like my cashier scrubbing story, so I'll highlight that. I like my toilet paper story, I'll highlight that. And I like the story about um, people making eye contact. So out of my whole list, there's only going to be two or three that I really think might end up being my new story. And then after you um, pick your top two or three, Make sure that each of those stories separately have five W notes. So if you go back and you're like, oh, I didn't really write down the why of um, people making eye contact with each other, you're going to want to plan that out. So for each bullet point here that you like, that you highlighted, decide what the five W's are for each of those bullet points. And then by the end, you should be able to pick which story do you like the best, which one has the strongest and most interesting five W's. Maybe after making your lists of that, you realize eh, the story about the cashiers wiping the registers down aren't as interesting as the fact that people are smiling and looking at each other under their masks. And that's the story you might choose to write on. Um, so that's our lesson for today. Remember, our goal to look for potential news stories all around you. So go on trips, bring a notebook, make notes like this where you're recording the date, the time, the place, and any interesting things that are happening around you, no matter how big or small they may be. 
our next lesson, we're going to talk about how to organize your news reports so they're really effective and interesting to the audience. But until then, take some good notes, take some good observations. Thanks for logging on.